what is up you guys welcome back to the channel coming at you with yet again another perfume experience and for today i have none other than a man luxuries serenity let's see if we can get the camera to focus there we go serenity okay we will be going over the description from the website as well as the notes. Then I will go over a perfume experience with you guys. But before we get started, and as per tradition on this channel, make sure to grab your favorite snack, your favorite bevy or cafe and sit back and relax and enjoy the awesomeness heading your way. For myself, I've got some cardamom green tea. That was good. Okay, I'll put that back. By the way, as of the time of the recording and posting of this, Serenity is sold out on a man luxuries website. So that should tell you a thing or two about how good it is. All right. A sensual blend of elements that imparts presence, texture, and perfect harmony. A fragrance that is enriched with a masterfully dosed element of cumin, spices, and oud. It takes a traditional Middle Eastern style of composition and infuses it with light and shadows, masculine and feminine, power and grace. Welcome to the world of luxury fragrances, where every scent evokes a sense of elegance and sophistication. Introducing Serenity, a perfume that transcends boundaries and captivates the senses with its exquisite blend, blend of aromas. Inspired by the rich history and captivating beauty of Oman, Serenity embodies the essence of tranquility and serenity. Crafted with meticulous attention to detail, Serenity pays homage to the tradition of using Indian sandalwood oil, a prized ingredient known for its therapeutic and aromatic properties. In a market dominated by Western culture, Serenity stands out as a testament to the timeless allure of Oman. Drawing inspiration from the prestigious perfume houses that have long relied on Indian sandalwood oil, Serenity embraces the best fragrances favored by European royal family members and nobles from around the world. This was launched in October 2020. The top notes are Rose Cintifolia and Saffron. The heart notes have Jasmine, Clove, Cedarwood and Cumin. The base notes are Agarwood, Patchouli, Olibanum, Leather, Musk, and Parlin. I wonder if they meant Pralin instead of Parlin. There's quite a bit of um, spelling mistakes here. Okay. The nose is Pierre Negrin. Now, they did say... Okay, well, they say Agarwood. All right. Okay. So, yeah, that's that for the notes and the description all right so let's get on with the perfume experience i've tried this only once but i don't quite remember what it smells like so you guys experiencing it for the first time more or less with me all right so here's the uh sampler from this house Oman Luxury is a very, very generous house when it comes to their samplers, and that is just something to love, okay? So, here we go. All right, let it air for a moment here. God, I can already smell it whiffing towards my nose. It smells so good. Okay. Wow. I, I, 
I find the description of this is a bit ironic because this comes off as very European in its DNA, but it's also... Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Up, it's it's very European and Middle Eastern at the same time. It's so confusing, but it's in in a very very good way. Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> this is wow. I want to go over the notes. So first of all, this is super super well blended at, off of the get go. So I'm already, whoa, this smells re, yeah, it smells very elegant and sophisticated and the projection on this, it's just hitting my nose straight off of my forearm. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off of the bass notes first because that's what I'm getting most right now and uh, then work my way through the heart and the top notes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so nice. It's it's mouth watering nice. It's so sexy. And it's so elegant and sophisticated. God, this is so nice. So so nice. Okay. So uh, parline, I have no idea what that is. So I can't speak to that. Actually, let me do a quick Parline. Yeah, so I don't really see anything about Parline. I think what they meant is Prolin and it's misspelled on the website. And Prolins are just a kind of a nut that's sweetened, so. Yeah, I mean, if that is there, there is a, a nutty gourmandish touch to this but it's very subtle musk definitely there is leather yes and the leather in here you guys is so so nice it's not like a car seat leather or a um, a leather jacket it's more of a really nice fine leather like an hermes back kind of a leather uh olibanum yes patchouli Yes, agar wood. Maybe I can't really pick on any um, UD hints here, even though it does clearly say in the description as well as the base note that there is oud. And I also, one thing about this scent, you guys, it smells very different close to the skin than projecting far away from the skin. And personally, I like how it smells projecting off of the skin more than closer to the skin. It's just, yeah, it's very elegant, very classy, very sophisticated so far. Okay, for the heart note, uh, cumin... <laughs> yes and it doesn't smell like a cumin seed it does smell like powdered cumin okay uh cedar wood yes clove yes and jasmine yes and then we have in the top note saffron and rose centifolia Yes and yes. Okay. So that's all of it for the notes. And again, with this house, they have this amazing ability to blend everything so well, but you're able to detect notes independently at the same time, which is something I very, very much enjoy about this house. And you can always pick on how good of a quality the oils and the ingredients are used in their compositions. They just smell, like I've been saying since I started going over um, samplers from this house over my channel, is that 
this is the closest thing you're gonna get to artisanal quality in a niche eau de parfum uh, quality, okay? I mean, my God, this is so, so good. Okay, let's start talking data, okay? Performance, strong. Projection off of the get-go and even until now is strong and unrelenting and your nose does not go blind to it. And with this, the Trail and Silage are going to be strong also. So this is a winner in terms of performance, overall strong performance. Now, with respect to seasonality. This, so here's the thing. It can be worn in hot weather, but it doesn't have this hot weather profile to it, okay? The reason I say it can be worn in hot weather is because it's not beast mode overbearing, um, but it, it doesn't have that hot weather profile to it. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a cold weather scent, so fall and winter, and that's a function of the agarwood, the olibanum, the... Um, saffron the leather all of these notes make it a very good warm weather uh, suitable uh, wear when it comes to it uh, the rose in here also is very warm and cozy it's a very sensual rose which will do very well in cold weather so fall winter wear with respect to time of day listen this is evening wear uh, kind of a scent okay morning and afternoon it's it's not congruent it'll be a bit too much this is an evening kind of a wear and it does have this very suede like quality to it which is typically something you would wear evenings rather than morning and afternoons oh, wow that's so nice okay um with respect to gender spectrum this is unisex, but it definitely does have a masculine bias to it. And again, that's a function of the woods, the leather, the saffron, the uh, greens in here. Yeah, it, it dominates over the rose, and the rose in here is not feminine by any stretch of the imagination. It's more of a sensual masculine rose. So it's still unisex wearability-wise, but keep in mind it does have a masculine bias. Okay, now with respect to how you would dress this, with this one, you are doing formal to semi-formal, casual wouldn't be very congruent with this, so yeah, keep that in mind, you need some sort of formality when it comes to wearing this. Context-wise, where would you wear this? Wow, this is so nice. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say the perfect context for this. If you are going out for an evening of fine dining at a three Michelin star restaurant, this is your scent. You're dressed to the T's. You're dressed formally. You're ready for, at a minimum, 10 course meal. Uh, you're going for quite a bit of wine tasting and wine pairings with your meals. And you're going to be there for two to three hours <laughs> just going over all the whole experience. You're sitting there enjoying the meals, uh, the descriptions offered by your waitress, having interesting conversations and sharing the experience with uh, someone that um, enjoys uh, finer culinary experiences or a loved one overall this is your scent that's the context you're gonna wear the scent in another place actually or setting where i'd imagine you wearing the scent if you're going out to high-end boutiques 
uh, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Dior, Chanel, YSL, DNG, Armani. Well, I don't know if Armani is still high end, but um, yeah, so y you kind of get the idea. Going to those high end boutique stores or Harrods in London, or and you're just going out for a day off. Um, luxury shopping and then you're staying at a high-end cafe uh, between your shopping uh, spree taking a break you know like a Dior cafe or Armani cafe or here in Canada we have Holt Renfrew depending on the city you're in you can go to Holt's cafe and sit and enjoy yourself take a break before you go spend another hundred thousand dollars on stuff you're probably never gonna wear <laughs> but you get the idea it's that kind of a scent it's very it's very luxurious it is very sophisticated and elegant I do agree hundred percent with the description on that it's just it's just so nice you guys Very, very well done. Very, very elegant and sophisticated. And I see why it's sold out um, on the website. And that's a 100 ml bottle sold out. Okay. So uh, to wrap things up, you guys, uh, do I recommend Serenity by the House of Oman Luxury? 100% yes. Get your nose on it. Get your wallet on it. Cop it. You will not regret it. This is full bottle worthy and blind buy worthy so so good <laughs> i mean yeah it's it's a very very good um so yeah get, get on it give it a try the good news is you can always get a sampler and the sampler is very very generous before you fully commit to a 100 ml bottle not that you can get it off of the website now because it's sold out but when it's available again and uh, yeah, nothing but accolades uh, about this release also from the house of Aman Luxury. With that said, you guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, if you enjoyed this upload, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so we can reach more people. And as per usual, I very much appreciate your time and attention. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.